Welcome to the September 6, 2017 Board of Selectmen Board of Health meeting here at the Municipal Offices in South Fairfield. We have no minutes um, to approve. Um, a Selectman's comments, I just would like us to um, welcome Key Eno. Um, she's our new executive assistant and we are finally staffed up after many, many months, meaning like months, like years almost, of, of not being staffed correctly. So I'm welcome. really excited and, and welcome and nice to be welcome. here. It's, it's wonderful to have you. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for Wendy and I'm thrilled for us. So thank you. Can we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, yes. I, I know that Kip had mentioned that last time. And yes. I, uh, you know what? Start? We should put this on here. So, right. Um, okay. We'll do the quick Pledge of Allegiance. Would you like to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Would you like to repeat, Trevor? No. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the public, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor, for remembering that. Well, actually, Kip, um, Kip's idea. Uh, yes, thoughts? we had talked yeah. about it, um, but it was so long ago. I, I know. Um, so Three we'll weeks, four weeks. Actually, um, put it on the agenda as number one from now on. Would that be possible, Wendy? If that's what you would like. Yes. Thank you. Um, that way, I won't forget. Yeah, thank no, you. it's good. We'll, I we'll make that happen. Thank you. Um, I, I just, with all the hurricanes in the news, I just want to remind people to sign up for Code Red. You can do it online. There's forms here, and if you need help, um, we do have uh, come to the selectman's office so that people can be notified if we have messages for you. Um, I think it's really important to have an evacuation plan. Think of your families. Um, if you have older kids, where would you meet? I mean, it's one thing when you have smaller kids, you know where they are all the time. But older kids, it's really, especially teenagers, you never know where they are. So if you um, have an emergency, this is where you're going to meet, that kind of thing. Have medications, especially if you're older and you're on a lot of medications. Have medications for a few days ahead, if at all possible. Have a list of your medications. So in case we have open a shelter, you can come and we can try to track them down for you. Um, your pets, take care of your pets. We want to make sure you have, um, oh, am I not loud? Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Um, we want to make sure your pets are taken care of and medications for your pets, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we won't go into it a lot, but if, if you can, um, just think about it. We've, we've all seen what happens under, you know, with Harvey, what's going to happen with Irma, we don't know. We are going to have a meeting next week if, if it looks like Irma's on her way up here um, with our emergency group. But it's it, individually, especially if it's widespread, People have to take personal responsibility. So just think about it. Take a few minutes. Mm. Um, Board of Health comments. We still have ticks. I know Kip doesn't want me to keep talking about this, but Perithium, it's on sale for one for a few more weeks. I think it's till October 1st. But it's tractor supply. You can get it, and um, you'll need it for the fall when it gets cooler and the ticks are want to you know, come, come inside and find, you know, settle down for the winter. So make sure if you're out walking in the woods, and it's wonderful to be out this fall, but make sure you spray your leg, your pant legs and your shoes with perithium. No cats. That's the only, I just want to make sure that it's, you can do dogs as long as they don't lick. Uh, Kip brought up the fact that if you have dogs that lick themselves, you want to make sure you wash their legs off after the walk, whatever. But cats, for some reason, cats can't process it. We have had West Nile circulating in town. It's moderate risk still. It's, it's everywhere. So please use DEET. And um, mice will be coming in. You can take dryer um, lint, spray on your perithium, stick out your toilet paper rolls, and you get rid of the ticks that come into your yard. So I'm trying to be really fast about this. It's the same stuff. If you have any questions, you can give me a call. But um, we, uh, we are, like I said, have the West Nile still circulating. There is no triple E. What's very interesting in our um, 
And and the Tripoli mosquitoes, the counts with the cooler nights are, are, are um, trailing off a bit. But what's very interesting is that we do have a lot of the mosquitoes that would potentially carry the Tripoli. So I'm going to try to reach out um, to Frontier, maybe like Stacy Chapley's science class, and um, see if they can do saline levels um, up in Old Deerfield off 5 and 10 by Historic Deerfield's entrance, across from Channing Beat um, by the vet ho hospital, that area, and then down by the Waitley Swamp. And that what we're going to do is see if they can um, monitor the saline um, levels, because it's very interesting. What's happening is that we are being able to support the triple E kind of mosquitoes because everybody is using more salt. The runoff from 91, 5 and 10, 116, everyone is using more salt. Um, and as a result, the saline um, in standing water, is, is the level is rising. And therefore, we're getting more of the conditions like the uh, salt marshes. So hopefully, if um, we monitor and we have a little bit of information, we're going to go to the Department of Agriculture that I've already brought up with them. And we can get a little grant and, um, or have them do a pilot out here where they will monitor our areas up here, up and down 5 and 10. And um, maybe they will lava side for us if we have some issues. So. That's what is the game plan is, and I'm hoping that we will have some high school students who would be interested in that as a project. Um, did Trevor or Kip, did you have anything from a Selectman's or Board of Health point of view? Oh, but if we use less salt, we'd kill two birds with one stone, save money, and kill <laughs> the mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. True. I know. It's that we've talked about that, and maybe at some point, but it's really, I think it's a runoff from the state, and that's why. I would like some information, and maybe we can get them to pay for a mitigation. That's, that's kind of the game plan. Anyway. I just, I just wanted to, um, you know, again, with, with Harvey impacting um, Houston, it was really nice to see some, some of our residents kind of pulling together and raising money for the Red Cross. And um, that it was just really nice to see. Um, Beth Schmidt had a um, table out and was trying to get people she was able to raise over $500 for the Red Cross. And um, just as a quick spur of the moment thing, you know, her and uh, other people, Maggie Hagerman did. And um, it's just really good to see our citizens come together yes. and help out people across the country where they need it. You never know when we're going to be on the other end. So It is nice. Yep. Um, so our first appearance tonight is Marlene Johnson from the Senior Center. Um, do you want to come up, Marlene, and anybody Welcome. that wants to come up with you? Okay. How are you? I'm good. Good. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank Great. You. Okay. Um, I want to thank um, Wendy for adding me um, to this meeting. Uh, there was some confusion on my part about what meeting is which. <laughs> First time working in municipality, you kind of you don't know what meeting sure. is where, but yep. we got this one straight. <laughs> so thank you, Wendy, for you know putting me on um, the warrant, and thank you guys for listening. The um, it is regarding um, the move to the church. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of us um, at the senior center, and the majority of the um, seniors as well. Uh, would like to move over to the church that you know that you know is our final goal um, but we are also um, uh, satisfied with the process that it would have to be to get there as long as it's safe for us and it meets our needs and it's going to take as long as it takes but one of our concerns is actually we had two concerns is once this process starts happening and committees are being f formed um we would like myself my staff and the seniors to be on a few of those committees to have the input about what rooms we need, mm -hmm. offices we need, equipment we need, um, 
Uh, the kitchen, you know, is it a, a safe kitchen areas that we can access, mm -hmm. areas that we won't be able to access, how to split apart that big room. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of committees that you probably will have going forward. And we request that we would like to be on, not all of them, uh, the few important ones that you will have. Sure. Um, well, I, first off, I just want to mm -hmm. just back up a, uh, just a bit. We we don't have um, control over the building yet. I mean, we have the keys, right. but we can't right. really do anything yet. Um, right. Quite yet. I'm, right. I'm sure it's coming pretty soon. Yeah. And, and our and our plan um, is to reach out to a couple different architect type yep. persons so that they can work with us. Wendy is supposed to be in this next week or two um, reaching out and deciding who we would like to work with. Um, and the reason why I say Wendy is, um, you know, she'll, I'm sure she'll come up with somebody that is uh, a good choice. Um, there's, um, Trevor had come up with somebody and Dick Kalaszewski had come up with a couple and we'll do, Wendy will do some preliminary um, interviews and, and we'll decide um, who we want to work with. But back in February, we had um, appointed Debbie um, um, th uh, Dacious. Dacious and um, Henrietta Colcott and um, Dick Kalaszewski uh, to sort of like the preliminary committee. Um, and it was more or less from a structural point of view and, mm -hmm. you know, like a big picture kind of little committee and um, obviously they haven't met because we don't have control of the building yet but um, certainly and I'll turn this over to Trevor because really he's on the oversight board for the senior center um, but we, we were going to we have to figure out exactly what needs to be done I think the kitchen is one of the things that has to be absolutely upgraded um, we have to have bathrooms um, yeah, ramp a, accessibility, ADA accessibility that <laughs> and we kind of understand yeah. all yeah. that because and we so, do know the needs that yeah. you would have to make it ADA required. Right. Um, just the part, and we're patient mm -hmm. to wait when you do take control mm -hmm. right. over that building, and when that does happen, I can go back and you know um, when that does happen is to make sure that the committees that will involve mm. needing information and data from the senior center, yeah. that we will be included on those that's, committees. Uh, absolutely, that's, I, I think it would probably. That's that's a given, mm -hmm. we're definitely, I mean. Okay. Yeah, the, I mean, the there's senior no center doubt. is the, I mean, the seniors are the primary right. user. Mm -hmm. it, it will be a community center, but the seniors, I mean, that the, the goal is to have the seniors have primary use of the building, and right. obviously you would be using you know, we'd want to meet, you know, have a committee together of the seniors and the director and say, well, how will you use this square footage? Mm -hmm. What's the best way to kind of break it up so that you have, you know, so that you can get the most out of your programs? I'd love to learn more about, and in this, in this committee, we would learn more about how you think your programs would improve, what you think you could do there that you can't do here, or what you might want to expand on, or... Um, how you think you might be limited by going to this building versus the one you're in. So my idea is to kind of have a full scope of how you'll use the programs and what's the best way to kind of break up that building so that we can get the best use out of it for your seniors. Um, so you're comfortable there and you, you have enough space, you have enough office space, and, and of course the ADA capabilities right. and all of that. And, and, and to put in products that are gonna last you know, a good many years for the time that, that we'll be using mm -hmm. the building for that. Right, and, and I so guess definitely. that the, was why we pulled back that two two hundred thousand from uh, from right. the CPA and because we we didn't have a plan. Yeah, we're so, not ready yet. Yeah. Um, it was not worth. And I mean, um, once Wendy we do has that. been very gracious in explaining all that to mm -hmm. us and to keep me posted so yep. I can keep our seniors posted. Sure. Um, I do understand that we, you do not have control of the building yet, that right. still we still make contact with Jack Cooper, yep. that I understand fully. Um, with that in mind, we have had um, use. We're able to use the Senior Center for our, pretty much for our exercise programs. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to know what will happen once you take over. 
Um, yeah. Because right now we added an extra yoga program on Tuesdays. So now we have yoga twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We also added a Zumba class. So that meets on Wednesdays. And we added um, our balance in motion class again. And we're also waiting for our osteo class. I, and most of those were meeting right. at now we're meeting at the Polish club right. because Unfortunately, we don't we need a when when we take it over just mm -hmm. because of code and laws that I don't think we'll be able to use that building until we get a quick you know if we can get a quick ADA accessibility and it, and it meets the codes as Dick and um, our other inspector would sign off on then we could get back in but there will, there will be a transition time where just by code and law we won't be because now that we are the owners and the church is not then we're liable, so mm -hmm. we are going to have to probably well, we have, have a higher some, standard. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, there are other community groups that use the ch church now, from what I understand, and that's okay. But once we take over, there is going to be a time period where no one can use it until mm -hmm. we have the minimum but stuff we'll have, met. So we should think about what, how how we can accommodate. You know, is there that, any other spaces? Like, well, actually, be, we're taking our um, the Polish club has let us use um, nice. their oh, banquet room nice. on a weekly oh, okay. basis. And I wonder if maybe, um, <clears throat> you know, I know we had talked about, you know, maybe this is a different meeting, but we had talked about doing some programs in the other towns as well, and I wonder in that meantime if they, if there's space at Sunderland or like the library or maybe in Waitley at their town offices where we could do a, you know, I know it's a drive, but it's, mm -hmm. you know, but maybe it might be closer to some of the seniors yeah. there. If well, we could reach right. out to John and Tom and say, sure. in this transition, any way you can help us with a little space in the meantime right. until we can get it, you know. That's a good idea code. because we have offered, um, we have opened on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Great. we will be having our painting class nice. on oh, Tuesday. Oh, wonderful. Right. Great. Watercolor That's class on Tuesdays, and then they do the seated yoga on Thursdays. We yeah. have the seated yoga, um, but it was nice having the church because it, yeah. you know, we oh, have right a there. Yeah. big program on Friday with our farm stand yeah. and, you know, yeah. games and, you know, once, different once stuff we, of that nature. Once we have a person that we can work with, um, you know, from an architectural, architectural point of view, mm -hmm. then... I, we'll, we'll have a lot of these. Oh uh, yeah, we have a lot. We'll have a lot of um, these questions answered time-wise, and mm -hmm. we, you know, we want to do. Uh, we want to make it accessible right away. Mm -hmm. You know, so how how much do we have to do? And obviously, we can't have people using the building if there's you know put like serious construction going on. So mm -hmm. we, we don't at this point have a definitive answer on what we absolutely have to get done mm -hmm. before people can occupy it. Mm -hmm. So um, well, we're hoping to get that done uh, when we have someone on board. Oh, okay. And my other question is, is when you do take over the, would you be able to inform myself and oh, the Board absolutely. of Oversight oh, yeah. have yeah. a meeting yeah, I think when we, we do would. so I don't have to right. you know, is, wonder, do I go to Jack or, no, you know, yeah, yeah, at this point. The, 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 but the bottom line is until we make these improvements, we, st we won't be able to use the church. That's right. what they're saying. I understand So it doesn't that. matter whether we own it or not, what really the, the, right. the threshold. Right, but then I wouldn't be calling Jack okay. or right. asking to say, hey, you. I told you I there. would tell you yeah. right away. Yeah, no, so, so I wouldn't we be know. calling yeah. him we, and saying, oh, just to yeah, be clear, we, we, don't, we, anticipate, no we don't anticipate mm -hmm. any issues. Right. right. Everybody agrees that this is, uh, you know, a right. uh, good thing. If I can chime in, though, I, I don't... I don't want to come across as what my boys call me as Daddy Downer, but it's <laughs> nice to have a wish list and it's nice to have all this stuff. But you got to remember, this is a very old building with mm -hmm. limited capabilities, mm -hmm. and we've gone through it a lot to see what we need to do to make it accessible and usable. If I don't, I didn't. This is the first I've heard of committees going about it. But if we get groups of committees, well, we want two offices here, well, we need a bathroom over here, we want to divide this thing, what you're going to run into is you're going to run into a multi-million dollar project that's not going to happen for a long time, years. Mm -hmm. And I would sure like to avoid that. I'd like to get that building up and functional and usable, something we that we do. can use. Yeah. And, you know, I just, I want to put that out there because it's easy to sit here and say, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. And the deeper you get into this and the more mm -hmm. money it costs and the more unrealistic it becomes, you know, and it's, 
it, then it will become part of this. our you know, sewer plant, this plant, library, and all the other major expenses coming down the road. So why did you guys take the CPA money and put it back? Uh, just because we didn't... You don't have a plan. You're also, I think you're also... So the money being expensed for the project, which is good, you know, the study and whatever, are you bidding out for any of this work? Uh, we, work well, the whole, the whole... Of course, you're, gonna, you're talking delays. You know, you've got, like I have to follow Chapter 30B mm -hmm. for bidding. Right. You know, the three... The, Paul, you know, the, the, the come, the come on up, because they want so, you to help yeah, in the Yeah, Paul, well, yes. So, when you know, you... <laughs> there, there's going to be a little bit of... Um, I, that's why we need. That's why we're getting an architect. No, I was just uh, curious. Um, Wendy told me you guys had the CP money, then you gave it back. I understand technically, the United Church of Christ hasn't turned the you know mm -hmm. building over to the town. I get that. I was involved in yep. some of that stuff, and um, but so now you're talking about all these things work going on. Where's that money coming from? Well, no, nothing's gone on yet because we don't have we don't have a list together of what actually okay. has to happen. So you're going to go back to take the CPA money we, back? We hope to. We I, I, my. But well, what's the time? What's the time structure on that to get that money back? I, I think, think it would be next I, year. But we, we the reason we gave it back. One of the reasons we gave it back is because it came with a lot of handcuffs. So as far as historical stuff came, oh, yeah. so we didn't want to buy into all that right away when we didn't have the building and we didn't have the funds and we didn't have the plan yet. But no. if if it in fact rolls into that where we, I don't know, I'm speaking out of turn, but no. if if it could, if it if we could use that, I mean, definitely that would be. A, I mean, it's a perfect use for that fund and um, for for our seniors and for that space. So, but yeah, I'm hoping that we could apply for that next year, but. There may be other ways we, that we, we can. We put a little bit of money in our budget to do some preliminary stuff like okay. handicaps right. accessibility. No, no, I'm just curious all of a sudden. And, and we were looking at other options um, doing that locally with volunteer help, whatever. Um, but the idea was to have someone work with us from an architectural overview point of view. And um, actually, Trevor has a, a wonderful person that's on the, our Slugman's Association Executive Board. I know him, and Trevor's worked with him now because uh, Trevor's on the board. And so, and Wendy actually knows the person. And then Dick has a couple in Amherst, and, and, and actually Kip, Kip had reached, reached out couple. to a couple people. And so we have some choices, and so Wendy is going to organize um, who we're going to work with, you know, by interviewing people and seeing what they what they can do for us and and but your intent like Brian like Brian will come down uh, and and just walk through and give us an overview for nothing and so you know obviously if we hire him and to work with us he would charge us but just to give us some idea some ideas of of what expenses are and how we could manage it and Kip Kip was right in, you know the first goal is to kind of make it accessible so we could use it oh and yeah then, I mean that, that I was on the board I was a trustee yeah. yep yes right it, need some it, I mean it, the original church was moved there and then over the years you know structures added. were added on right the Roars Hall on the on the on the north yep I mean yeah I mean is it pork chop kind of stuff you know add on yeah now to work with it to your point yeah it's going to take some I guess some uh Creativity, well, you know what I mean. Really right. well. I mean, know what you want to do. Do you, you know, what do you add on? You know, what do you, do you do? You knock a wall out and you know expand a room, whatever. I mean, you're limited on space, so to speak. Right. Well, but. the idea is 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 Trevor sits on the oversight committee for the senior center, so the oversight committee will meet okay. with the seniors and meet with whoever we choose to hold our hand through this okay. process. And they'll they'll come up with a game plan, okay. and the game plan hopefully will be very reasonable, have a Keep finite time. But realistically, time. you're looking more right. at springtime before you really start getting. Well, into I it. I was hoping this process would be m much faster, and thankfully we did not have a really excessively hot, humid summer, right. which you know the senior center is not the best right. place. So, right. or the current senior center. Right. So. You know, hopefully we can get moving on this okay. and move it as fast along. But I, I don't want to, I mean, whatever date that we throw out, whatever timeline <coughs> we throw out is not really meaningful because no, we, know, don't, we don't have an expert with us. I mean, us. the biggest thing is the United you know, right. Church of Christ at UCC has to give it to you first. Mm. Right. Legally. And, I, yep. I get that. Yep. Yeah, and and, that and so, a, you know, we're going to encourage, we're going to get line up 
uh, how we're going to handle this and get organized. And as soon as we get to church, we're going to, you know, I, I mean, there's no reason once we have a person on board um, that we choose to work with that we can't have the oversight committee meeting with the seniors and hmm. sort of figure out what we're going to do. So as soon as we get to church, we can just jump in. I, mean, I really would hope that we'd get the accessibility and mm -hmm. um, shore up the building as, you know, as soon as possible while we have good weather mm. and um, reasonable weather the one and, thing you guys and move the seniors over there for the winter. The one thing you guys really need to do is, is the steeple. You've is what? Get, the steeple. It's got to get weather tight. It's slowly. It's leaking. Okay. No, so we, did, we did the work in ninety, in the mid-90s. We did shut the church down for like a month. All the horsehair lath was all redone. Mm -hmm. But you look up and it's, it's, it's coming through. And of course, okay. that's the town clock anyways. But right. the steeple really should be a priority in terms of weather tightening. Um, you know, that... Yep. Uh, it, it, and, it's, it's coming and that, in. You know, that kind of thing could get done relatively Oh, yeah. I mean, it's flashing soon. and just yeah. sealing up and caulking and all that stuff. Yeah, some cost involved, obviously, for yeah. getting a crew up there. But still, just yeah. to make it weather tight would definitely um, be beneficial. So. Well, and I mean, that was what we were going to use some of the CPA money for okay. because yeah. that's historic reno renovation. Yeah. But we want before we made any decisions or any commitments yeah. we wanted to have an overview yeah. and how we were going to manage it i mean i grew up in that bill yeah. i mean yeah there's yeah. parts of it that just make no sense yeah. but it was just added on over the years you had the sure. original church which you moved down to that location and then, and then it expanded you, a bit yeah too, they did right back but and then they added yeah. the roars hall so yeah it never really was designed with efficiency I right maybe i should it was say. just to get space can i ask a question did you ever get a cost on repairing the leak? Um, no, I was off the board by that time. Uh, they had done a lot of work. They had done all that lighting back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. I don't know. That wasn't addressed when they redid the inside of the, uh, of the church, mm -hmm. the main church. Um, but I noticed a few years after, it start, I could see the water stains and yeah. the moisture and everything else. So. Yeah. But it, that's should be high on the priority list. Yeah. yeah. I mean, nothing, you know, not, so, not saying paint it and all that other stuff. But just but stop it, water. Get, get yeah. It, stop the water. Yeah. Because you can see most it. most damaging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, okay. we, we're going to move along as soon as we can. No, I know. Yeah. I know there's some bureaucratic things that have to go through. And well, and, and we're public entity, so, you know, you have the procurement laws and stuff like that that we really? have to, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> so, anyway, but the whole point is to, to move the seniors as soon as possible and in, into a space that they will want and, and have it organized mm -hmm. as best as possible um, to maximize whatever they want to do. Right, and I mean, I understand, Kip, that there's going to be, we're not going to get exactly what we like, sort of like a wish list, but I think we're more interested in um, something that we can use that's safe and reliable um, in space. We definitely need space, um, mm -hmm. you know, because we are really limited. And if we right had now, space, right? we would be able to have more programs. We would probably even be able to increase our formula grant to mm -hmm. be able to open our senior center on Tuesdays and Thursdays mm -hmm. and get meal services as well. Great. Uh, which would be that would be the goal because we in. which um, would really be work. nice you know to have the senior center open five days a week mm. absolutely yeah. Trevor and I when we went to Burneson we were so impressed <clears throat> that's a five day a week mm -hmm. wonderful atmosphere mm -hmm. what they did to restore Powers Institute which was ten times worse than the church it was really bad condition yeah. un mm -hmm. unbelievably bad yeah. and um, I mean, at the time, I really wasn't paying attention. My dad and my mom organized that, and um, they did a lot of volunteer work, and they did a lot with, you know, reaching out and getting grants along the way, and it is so wonderful. It's such a bright, mm -hmm. wonderful space. It took space. a long time, but it was mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful space mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah. And, and we understand and there's so much that. energy there. and there, we, Right, and, and we so, understand that mm -hmm. it's going to take time, um, and that's not really why we are we're here mm. we just needed to know who we you needed to contact yeah. and when it would be turned over and then the process and make sure that we can be on some committees 
to work this out and to talk and have the Board of Oversight meet with us and some of our seniors and just kind of keep yeah. us in the loop. You That's know. the goal. Uh, well, I think most we're going to run most of this through the Board of Oversight. That in would be helpful of, because we hear a lot of things from different places right. of what is happening, and, and that's normal. We live in a small town, and, you but, know, you well, hear we this would, is what's happening. So that's why I'm, I'm glad that Wendy put me here to be able to ask right. these questions to the horse's mouth, so to speak, right here. Well, the whole idea <laughs> is to make it useful and to be a wonderful space. And um, so I, I have to say we, we want to work through the Board of Oversight as mm -hmm. far as organizing yes. any your input your, so that you have – your needs are being met and you feel like you have voices so mm -hmm. um uh, trevor is will communicate whatever mm -hmm. um whatever i know when i know <laughs> yeah and i think we're supposed to be and, and, meeting and yes. work soon with kip and, and i to make sure that, that this happens yes. um mm -hmm. like i said i was so impressed um with the berniston program you know looking at it from a you know critical mm -hmm. eye and and what what we need to do and and so I, I really do think it will be a wonderful space when we get done and we will we do, do it as We're fast excited. as we can mm -hmm. i um exciting to do something for the seniors i i feel sure. like yeah i mean i wanted to move the seniors out this summer and right. thankfully it wasn't as right. needful as as the we the weather cooperated more or less right. and, I, and and we're working with what we have like yeah. opening on tuesdays and thursdays awesome. we may not offer any lunch program on those days, but you know, we've added a movie and you know, Good. different other things on Tuesdays and Thursdays Good. too. Good to see. Kind of make more space, so to speak, mm -hmm. because we don't really have a lot of space. So. Right. Well, we'll. Um, what we can do is Wendy can, um, as part of the report every two weeks, she can just do an update. Um, you know, once we get someone and. And we just have a regular. We'll just have a regular update on as part of her report. And Would I that be take all right? It over to the boo or something like that. Maybe we can get um, together. It's, it's, it's I. You make the decisions. Okay. I mean, I, well, I I can't do things like I proceeded when I started. The first week I was here, I went over. First staff person I met with was Marlene, and I said before we go further, and I was directed to write the CPA grant. I asked you, what are your needs? You know, have you, have you been asked that, or has that been done to determine how we're going to use that space? And we sat and we talked about that. So we're going back to that again. I hear you're yeah. asking to be done. So I want to say, if that well, is your direction, fishing, we'll yes. keep that conversation going and involve other people who are interested sure. um, as the way we approach next steps. I need to get the names and contacts of these people you want me to talk to, and they would need to know as well in order to give us schematics or whatever we might get. Mm -hmm. We also need to appropriate money to do things. Right. We haven't done that. We have money put aside for um, heating and some maintenance, but that was all, you know, I think only $25,000 is what mm -hmm. we had from town meeting. So we'll have to get more money to do any work. Sure. We don't have that money appropriated, so that will be a, a town meeting. Right, um, which we will have a special town meeting if mm -hmm. So I just want to, yeah. you know, yeah. I want to be realistic. And, and if know. possible, we could be involved in fundraising, too. I know that there's quite a few places that right. have fundraised, you know, to get extra money. I think Greenfield um, did quite a bit of fundraising and of that nature Always and helped. endowments and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we need to be able to, be to do some along, fundraising I think, with the plan. That's if needed to. Yeah. Yes. But you then also the from the fundraising point of view, not – you know, how are you going to use the space? What do you need for right. that stuff? and that's the first that thing space. we need to have. And that would be very care helpful yep. sometimes because then you could get the right, and, what you really want. And mm -hmm. that was the purpose of that committee, two of which members are here to, in the audience, was really to assess that and start to look at what we needed to do on the church building. Um, it was all but uh, pretty much, I think, believed that it was going to, you know, the town was interested, the church was interested, we knew that that process would, would happen. Um, and it was a matter of town meeting, giving the authorized, and the board, they did, thanks to you and others, uh, to um, seek, you know, accept the building. So we're I expecting just, that to happen very soon. So I imagine we would, I don't know how many committees, you say committees, I don't know no. how many there would be. I think one would be plenty right. to 
take in all the information, hear the different voices, people who have, want to have input, have good ideas, and bring that into the process as well, it I'm gets sure designed. I'm sure there's only one or two it. committees, but just in case no, I don't if even there know were if, a lot, we would no. like to be. I think <laughs> if there's, there, the only, you know, correct me if you have a different vision, but my uh, assumption has been there might be two at the most. But mm -hmm. one would be focused on what happens to the current building the senior center is in. Mm -hmm. We only really need one, unless you'd like additional one for activity planning, but one to look at um, how we're going to work on the church. Um, you don't need multiple committees for that, really, unless you want the same people on every committee. The way I envision that coming down is once we select an architect to work with, he'll make a, a schematic of the floor plan available. Mm -hmm. Then he'll meet with you, whoever, and you can say, okay, we need this office, that office. You're going to start with, I don't know the number of square feet, but you're going to have a certain number of square feet. You can divide it all up any way that you want. The limitations become, you know, if you decide that you've got this open space, well, I want two two offices here, then you find out, well, there's not supporting walls, so now it gets into more structural things. Mm -hmm. That's where I get into, you know, the cost of it. And then you say, well, okay, if we put the two offices there, now this room's not big enough to do our yoga thing. So you, you're going to have to keep in mind, and it's just worth it, you know, we're not building a new building. We're, mm -hmm. you know, just renovating this one. So you're, the space is going to be limited. And it's not like some of these TV shows, well, let's just knock out this wall. You can't because that might be the wall that holds the steeple up, you know, and those types of things. Mm -hmm. So the um, information that you'll be given, I, I perceive, would be a, a, mm -hmm. a floor plan schematic and say this is what you've got to work with. You might, you'll be given one, I would imagine, mm -hmm. and you could take and mark it up any way you wanted it and then bring it back to the architect and we'd move, you know, in that kind of a direction. Right. And we all yeah. understand that it's going right. to... You know, that's why that it's important to have a nice you know, person that we can work and bolts with right. about yeah. designing and stuff. And right now, any space is a little bigger than the space we have. Right, right now, we have two rooms. Yeah. yeah, another room we would be very grateful for, yeah. and a new building, another building that would be nice too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to have now, at least three rooms well, running. I think that your new would building is much older than your old building. Mm. <laughs> it is. It is. But it yeah, would be new to us. Yeah, you know, yeah. because it would be designed and, you know. And we like the idea of sharing it with the community um, because we like being a part of the library and, you know, the I think the it's the Boy, the Boy Scouts use it now. Yeah, and the, veterans, the veter veterans would like to come back. The veterans yeah. have already volunteered. Mm -hmm. And to, we do have some, some of those in, people that, yeah. you know, use our building. Yeah. The beekeepers, the veterans. Yeah. Um, the Girl Scouts have used it for a pajama yeah. party a few times. Yeah. Um, nice. You know, so. That's we why we're saying it's be, a community center. Right. But it, mm -hmm. it, the again, absolutely, the seniors have primary use and primary occupation. So mm -hmm. I, I just don't want that to be confused with community right, center. And but we, we, understand. we want to say community yeah. center because so other groups use it at right. different times. And what's nice about, I'm sorry, what's nice about having it as a community center, we can be a part of it as well. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yes. Oh, I just wanted to say, I'm, I'm new at the senior center. I volunteer there. But it's unbelievable how these people feel when they come into the senior center. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, especially I hear it from the women, but I suppose the, the men feel the same way. You lose your spouse. Mm -hmm. And now here you are, you're all alone. And you're low. Everybody's, everybody says they're lonely. Yeah. So they come in there. They have someone to give them a hug, someone to listen to their complaints or their whatever they want to talk about or whatever. It's unbelievable. But, the difference in them after they get in there. That's wonderful. I know. It's wonderful, wonderful to, to hear. hear because that's absolutely our intention. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. And I can voucher because I feel the same way. That's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank and oh, thank you for volunteering. Thank you for sharing that. Jane. Jane. Uh, I think what Kit meant was that you're starting with a floor plan, not a new building. 
and, and that he would, and, th and that's why we're having Wendy, and that's why we're having Wendy do these interviews. Um, be, uh, apparently, we have some good choices, and so. Absolutely. Nothing is being drawn before they're asked. No, no. I think Kip's intention was that this is the floor plan we have, and what do you want? And and that's why this whole choice of the architect is is making sure we have a good listener and someone that will hold our hand. And that was from my when Trevor and I met with my my father and went through the whole process and the, and all his notes. It was clear they had a wonderful woman architect that listened to and worked with the community. Whatever volunteer material, whatever volunteers showed up, she was there and, um, and walked them through the whole process and um, before the um, Franklin Regional Housing Authority got involved and, and they actually got money you know, through the state. But they, initially, it was this wonderful woman architect that was, had ideas and how to bring light into the place and I mean to start it all over again. I just want to make sure yeah okay it, it was just one of those it was really um, it was important to have a good listener and so I, I can't emphasize that enough we will meet the needs of the seniors hopefully much better than we are now and that was and that's all three of us are on board to do that because we want to have a good space a good healthful light bright space that everyone is happy with as best as we can Thanks for coming. Well, thank, thank you. you for yeah. Having me. I appreciate yeah. It no, yeah. it's good to have and, that and, conversation. And like I said, we're going to be working through the booth. Yeah, so we're, we're going to meet later this meet, this month. Can, I think. Yeah, I think a few weeks we're going yeah. to be meeting, so and we then can soon talk as we a hear, little further. Yeah. We'll be we'll be yep. in touch. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thank, thank you very thanks. much. Thanks. Thank you, Paul, for coming. Yeah. I, I really on appreciate. It's I appreciate. Great it. over there. All I can't the believe how and... how beautiful it is. It's Which so is wonderful. Really nice. the, um, oh yeah, you wanted to say something to him. I did. Yes, we just, I wanted, just wanted to say, to say thank, thank you. you. It's looking beautiful oh, Mark, over there. Mark Falone's the one that's doing it. We've got him. Is that right? Yeah, he's. This is all him. Um, I'll fill you he's in supposedly later. supposed to be having an open house. I got wind of. I've been married nice. over 40 years, paving, so it would be he still kind has of to rough. Do, well, he still has to do the south side. Okay. Thank you for and coming. the loading docks haven't gone in. Yep. And then I believe we're starting, us, Dedek, mid, mid this month, they're, we're going to, uh, the uh, swale yep. and the retention pond are getting cleaned out after nice. 25, 30 years of, Great. should have done it, and, but anyways. Oh, it's well, looking Paul, great. It we just drove says, by. That's got to get done. I mean, it that, looks that, lovely, and I does. just wanted to keep, say well, thank I, you. I'm sort of the clerk of the works with that thing. So the paving, there's still work to be done, but yep. what oh, it used to be like and now. Um, oh, it's amazing. I, well, you drive I, by I, there. I just took out the EDS plan, the original EDS plan we had over there for the drive through and I was just looking at it because somebody from out east wants it, and um, a copy of it, and I just remember how awful... It reminded me how awful the pavement was on the outside. Oh, that was the original. And, that was the original asphalt. And so it's so beautiful now. It looks so good. I just want to yeah, say thank you. It still has to go yeah. further out, and I think yep. it's another coat. But yep. it, it'll look. He's he basically what he told us a year ago, year and a half ago. He is doing so. Great. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. It's good um, tax revenue. Yes. Bill and Way, do you want to come up? Yeah. How are you guys? Good. Um, can you just introduce yourselves? Sure. Um, I'm sure most people know you, but <laughs> I'm Wade Bassett, and I'm the director of sales and operations at Yankee Candle Village. Great. Bill Swayze, director of facilities for Yankee Candle. Thank you. Thank you both for coming. And so you're here for a one-day liquor license for um, September 19th. I just want to say thank you, Bill, for straightening out all the fireworks stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so. I, I don't have any problem do you, if you do. You have, oh, you have a copy? I do. Oh, okay, oh, you great. Do. Okay. Yep. Why don't you read it for? I may, uh, which one do you want to read? Um, it's, it's, I think it's just both. They're the both same. Three. We oh, have two. Make, one right. one for the records, okay. one for the yeah. Yeah. So, so you can make the motion. Just make, make a motion. motion. I make a motion to approve the one-day liquor license for Yankee Candle Village at 25 Greenfield Road in South Deerfield. Second. Um, for September 19th. September 19th. Second. Two, 2017. Um, if there are, is there any further discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm really sorry. We should have probably put you first. That's okay. <laughs> we just wanted to make sure we were here in case you had any questions. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, oh, the, um, the fire. That's what um, I was looking for. State <laughs> Fire Marshal, no uh, issue with the. Uh, 
either side. He either side. Okay, Perfect. check both sides. Um, nice. Actually, we just am- need to amend the motion. It's um, because it's the day before for setup, September oh, 18th, mm-hmm. and it expires the 20th so that you have time to clean up. So Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Why don't you go ahead and sign Great. Right. Thank you. We'll Appreciate it. it. If you wait two seconds, we can give you a copy. Well, Pat has oh. to take care of that. Oh, Pat still has to do it. Okay, okay. We'll okay. We'll sorry. We'll get you a copy. Thank you. Have a nice Have evening. Have a great night. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Here's another one. I don't think anyone is here from Deerfield Academy. Um, oh, jeez. Two spots. Yes. Probably should have asked this. Is there any, has there anything changed about the fireworks since they were last here? No. No. Okay. No, we're in good shape. Um, it's just. They're still going to do them across the street from there. Yeah. Both, both spots, right. I guess they yeah. all checked out. It was just um, what day not is organized. That? Um, the 19th. We don't have a meeting that night. Else. Yes, we do. Okay. But we'll be done. We might be. Do you want to go back to meeting at 6.30? That can no, be. I was going to yeah. say, as long as we're the building gonna, doesn't blow well, up. Well, we're going to be at 6.30. <laughs> you want to be clear oh, out of town? Nice. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Okay, next motion. Um, Deerfield Academy, one day liquor license. Um, I make a motion to approve the one day liquor license for trustees of Deerfield Academy and historic Deerfield um, from August 24th. No, no, no October. October 31st. Through November 2nd. November 2nd. Is that a one day one? Second. Yes. <laughs> but this, it's the set up. Set up and clean, clean. clean, clean up. Okay. Um, it's actually for the November 1st, but you need the day in the first and over. So okay. if we've first seconded. seconded, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So you need a, you need a license to set up well, as well as well, wants to do a little They're handling. License. It's handling of it. It's oh. handling the liquor. They give, they, you do it the day before and the day after so that um, if there's any issues, nobody gets in trouble. So Even though it's Technically, a, should we, we only, call it a three-day liquor license? No, because then we would have to charge for a three-day liquor license. They're only serving Sir, on the one day. Serving <laughs> one day. <laughs> That's a question. Good, good question. Good question. <laughs> no, it is a good question. But um, we used to only give them the one day, and um, I think someone, I think it was the ABCC, came back and told us we had to start putting it on the license the day before and the day after. But the the reason I asked is if. If somebody ever questioned it, you know, the day before, they said, well, you've got a one-day license, and now here it is the third day, and you're still involved with it. That's not it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah Keith, Keith really was know. nodding. She handled this kind of stuff in Hatfield before she came here. Mm-hmm. So that's traditionally what it I, was, I guess done. Uh, they came out with that, what, like three or four years ago, yeah. something like that? Right. Yeah, that, and they made us change all our uh, licenses. Um, and the reason why we don't charge for it is because truly they're only serving one day. Sure. So it's kind of crazy. Um, we make people get the permits, but so we changed just changed our permits. Um, next oh. item on the agenda is um, select board meeting time. Um, Change. Uh, yeah, can we go back to six thirty if you yep. felt comfortable? Um, I didn't want to cut your. <laughs> you done hanging? No, I still got more to do, but do you, you never know. Yeah. Been quite a year. That's fine. That's are you, are you sure? Year, right? yeah. You know what we could do is is tentatively do it for six thirty. But if you the worst think case you're scenario, cut. the worst case scenario is if I happen to be bailing the night of a meeting. If I'm a little late, I'm a little late. That's that's fine. Okay. Be well, fine. That's it. I'm not worried about it. That's fine. Thank you. Six thirty it is. Thanks, Kip. Um, I think Wendy appreciates it because then she's it's a long day. We should um, actually change it to six going forward if you wanted to. Is that okay with you? Fine with me. Would that be helpful, Wendy? Wouldn't we like that? <laughs> they love that. Okay. Six o'clock it is. So why don't we change, we'll it, to change six. it to six? Okay. Good. That makes that's good for me too. Um, but it doesn't uh, mean we can score midnight stuff. So. No, no, I'm <laughs> trying, trying to be fast. Are, are I'm trying you to be fast. Suggesting that for one meeting or going forward? We're going going forward. forward for the year. Yeah. We're going forward, we'll start at six next the 19th. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, no, I, uh, anything to keep but our staff happy. We could do five. We would do five. What you yeah. said, too. <laughs> yeah, it can't, be a, can't I, be a long one. Are you okay with that, seriously? I mean, Is that the time? Yeah. Both of them, yes, yeah, start yep. and finish. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> the Bronis sewer abatement um, so, decision. So I met with, um, I met with Ed Bronis um, 
a month or so now. We didn't have a meeting last time, but um, he had been requesting since um, earlier in the year uh, an abatement, and I didn't. Um, I understood his request, but I still felt like I wanted to meet with him because I didn't really understand why there was. I look back in his history, and there was a big fluctuation. I just wanted to hear from him in person what was going on, and it turns out similar to the last one we had done. I think the only other one we had done. He has a line going out to a garage that has a sink and stuff in it, and, and then they have a pool. His mom's there now. She's elderly, and she, nobody else really lives in the house, but she, um, they have been having these leaks going out to the thing. They finally, you know, they've paid um, a plumber, I think, three or four times to fix the line going out. There's a couple, I call them hydrants, I guess, going out. They've tried and tried and tried, can't get it fixed, so they just shut the water off completely to that building and if they ever are going to open it back up again they've got to replace the whole line going from the house out to the other building so he was requesting an abatement and um, I had looked back and I thought 400 was um, it seemed right for bringing it back in line where it historically has been um, um, Roger has been bringing it to his his attention and they had been trying to fix it and they get it fixed and then all of a sudden it would go again. So when Roger noticed it earlier in the year that it was high again, he called them right away, they shut it off. And um, so and he had then asked for an abatement and we he waited a bit until he got his bill to see what it was. And um, he just, he, they think they have it solved and that they're not gonna, they're not filling the pool anymore because nobody's there anymore and they're not running the water out to that building anymore. So nothing went down into the uh, sewer as far as we understand. So um, it, he's not going to be asking for an abatement again because he's just not going to be using it. And uh, if he does use it, he's got to replace the whole line. And uh, so this was a one one shot deal and I thought it was fair, but you know, I take your so, advice. So what, what so what were you suggesting as a, a $400? $400? Yeah, based on what he has paid. Um, you know, over the years, what he has paid, and then um, what what he's normally had, um, they've been down in the nine thousand range. All of a sudden, was up at eighty four thousand. So nine thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand. Um, some are a little higher. Of course, the the summer ones were bigger because he was filling the pool, and they're not filling the pool anymore. And so I had him go through and explain, you know, the different years why there was some fluctuation, and that's really what it was. It was filling the pool, and then they would have a leak. Then they would get the, get it fixed. He brought me all the bills of where he's gotten it fixed, um, and then from now on they just shut it off. I think it was in May. I think they shut it off and they haven't used it since. And I haven't seen the, the last, the latest bill, but it should be down back to where it should be. And this is his email if anyone wants to go over that. But just to be clear, though, um, it is a two-family home. Okay, I looked and I did yeah. not notice that okay that was brought to my attention by the collector do you have the um, abatement application form is there one in the file? there is one okay. uh, in the file that's there. that's completed okay yep want to make sure Trevor is yep. look at this is this amount here that's from the spring Yes. Oh, this, oh, that's the fall use. That's the fall the, use. This right. is the uh, the spring one, or at least where it was at this date, and that's when he found the leak and shut it off. Roger notified him. So I haven't seen the following one. That's where it jumped up from 13, 9, 7, you know, 12. And then some of these other ones, I said, well, why, why are they this fall one? Why is that so big? And he said that was when they used to fill the pool and they had the pool. So that's why... They haven't done that in a while, and then they've had other leaks, and that's kind of if you go back in some of the bills, they correlate with the leaks that they found, and then they went and fixed it, and then it would leak again there's another year, and there's like four different bills of ASAP trying to fix that for them. So um, it seemed credible when he talked to me, and he's not looking for another one. He understands that's, that that is what it is, So, but I leave it up to the board. <clears throat> Um, I don't know. Oh, what do you think? I mean, I, I don't, I, I have mixed emotions. I mean, I see where it's, it's extremely high going back to 2002, and I understand the pool thing. Um, and, and, and the leaks, I yeah. guess, is what they yep. had. Yeah. Yep. 
I, I, I guess I don't have a problem with it. We'll just need to try to remember this in case it happens again. I think, yeah, it'll because be, the, I would the history say shows, file. the history shows quite a bit of use. I think yeah. Yeah. What Trevor tried to do is correlate the right. repair bills yep. with the yep. high readings. Yep. So, um, I, I mean, I guess I'm okay too. I mean, you, you spent a I lot of time researching. I did. So I did. I, I tried to be fair about it, and um, you know, he's pretty sincere. He's, try, he's trying to do this for his mom. She's, you know, fixed income, and she said, you know, they they found the leak. They stopped it. They're not going to be, you know, so they won't be obviously coming for an abatement anymore because they know that they've they've got an issue. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was a one-time abatement for them, and that would be that. I, I'm okay with it. Okay. Do you want to make the motion? So I make a motion to approve the uh, $400 abatement for Mrs. Baronis at 82 Sugarloaf Street for calendar year 2017. Do you want a second? Oh, I'm sorry. I second the motion. Mm -hmm. um, is there any further discussion? I was in la la la. Nope. <laughs> Any further discussion? No. I saw okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Two as well. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda is the uh, transfer station inspection. Um, it's an annual. Um, well, actually, this is the, the inspection is what Janamine does. She became certified to inspect, and so we're no longer paying so engineers a, to do um, that work. So it's an so annual, annual. Uh, oh. contract for her to do that for the time. Um, and, and we save significant money. Mm -hmm. um, so I would entertain a motion to um, have the, I think it's a sign chair. Sign the sign. MOU with the yep. Solid Waste District for the inspection. Can have I the chair sign. Yep. yep. Um, it's significant. And the other is the uh, MOU for the hazardous waste um, Management district. So we'll do one at a time. I, that we reminds a, me, we have a hazardous yes. waste collection date. I just want to, yes. I forgot to make the yes, announcement. Um, Saturday, September 23rd, uh, it's both in Orange and at the GCC main campus is um, the hazardous waste collection day. We're part of the district, so you can bring um, any of your herbicides, fungicides, antifreeze, brake fluid. We'll have this on the website. It's on. Is that, it's, oh, it's, it's on. already yeah. on? Right. Okay, so there's a whole list of stuff that's... And we have handouts at the table. Um, and we have handouts and at the table. And also being handing out at the trans, transfer trans station. station. Okay. Right. So please remember, um, September 23rd, it is um, in three weeks. Um, th you know, fourth Saturday of the month, so it's and, two more Saturdays. And just to clarify, this is to be brought to GCC's main campus and Orange Transfer Station, not yeah. our transfer station. Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Oh, sure, thanks. Okay, um, so did you have a chance to look at the solid waste? Yep, I'm good. Okay, um, do you wanna so make a motion? Make a motion to, um, here, let me see. <laughs> make a motion to the uh, Franklin County uh, Solid Waste Management District MOU for the transfer station inspection. I second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. For okay. fiscal year 2018, right? I assume that. Was oh, right. you know what? Actually, I said to chair, it's it's actually all three of us. And then. I don't know why I. Said I would that. make a second motion for the Franklin County Waste well, uh, Waste Management District MOU for hazardous waste collection for FY18. I'll second the motion. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Just want to comment that on the um, hazardous waste collection, you need to register. Oh. Oh. So okay. that's on the website again, and we have handouts. Thank um, you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. They need, yeah. They, there's a limit. <laughs> so. Um. Oh. I can't understand. I thought there were. Nope. It is. It's for all three of us. Um. Um, next item on the agenda is Sunderland's 300th anniversary letter. Um, they are 
um, asking us to participate if we'd like on their June 16th, 2018 um, parade. We don't have it. to let them know until October 30th, um, but we're I was stepping thinking, up. We're I, stepping I, up. Give, give yes. them a we, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'd gonna, like to do it. You I would, like to do the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's you wouldn't mind organizing? No, okay. Wait, no, I wouldn't mind what? Well, you were going to. Did you say like, participate or organize? No, no, no. Or, organize. I can help like, organize. We'll float a, kind of thing. We're going to have, well, we have something, something a little more interesting than just. We'll do, we'll do it. I had fun at the Conway one. There was all kinds of fun. I think we can put together something pretty fun. Okay. So, Wendy, can you um, respond positively? Do, do you have a tractor kit? Yeah. Or yeah. a key. <laughs> and a wagon? Do you have a hand yeah. wagon? Yeah, Perfect. We could, we could do something. We'll do something. Okay. okay. That'll be fun. I'll, I'll I, I would like us to participate. Hey, Ben. <laughs> oh, Ben, oh, hi. Yeah. Ben, you said you were going to come, and, I, and Wendy said that you didn't have to come, but. Oh. No, yes, you do. You've got, you've got to put. Uh, look at it, right over there. You guys, come, come right up and get come some. On. Come on up and get a peach, a lovely peach. Do you want me to sit or should I come back? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, you can just come. It was lovely. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Season's going good? Yes. Fair Peaches prep been, is going well. Peaches have been fantastic. Yeah, I've oh. had a great year. It was, Love everything's it. been delicious. Thank you. Yeah, much better than last year. Yes. <laughs> so, um, Ben, um, you're not on the agenda, but um, this is business... Uh, not anticipated, sure. but um, we would love to hear about your Cider Day run. Sure. Even though it's in November. <laughs> a little ways off. But uh, so this is the third year. Um, it'll be November 12th, uh, Sunday morning, 930 is the kickoff. Um, and the route is the same as in the past years, uh, basically leaving at the farm on Upper Road, proceeding north um, into Greenfield, and then down Lower Road, Mm -hmm. um, and back up and around. Um, and uh, Chief Pashurik has, has given his approval um, in the past years. Um, we've had, uh, he's had an officer, whoever, as long as he always had somebody able, um, basically helping out just the, the beginning of the route is the only time where there's a sort of congregation. Um, right in that. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. And then, but once it's moving, um, there's, they're running with the flow of traffic and there's no shutdown of the flow or anything. Um, right. And Sunday morning, usually it's it's pretty it's pretty much over by ten thirty, ten fifteen. I mean, most people most people can do it do it that quickly. I don't know. If they're doing it, then they're they're going to be able to do it that quickly. But we had over uh, we had just over two hundred runners last year. Nice. Um, so anticipate about the same. And it's a fundraiser towards a, a CISA in town here. Right. Um, so it's a um, yeah, it gets a lot of people out and yeah. brings it's a actually really does bring fun some thing. people in. Yeah, it's it does just... bring some folks in from out of out of the area. So it's good. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's good. Good wholesome event. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. Well, I think it's wonderful. Um, we'll um, put it up on the website. We could put it up. Is sure. first prize a peach pie? <laughs> no. Well, well, unfortunately, this, this is November, so November twelfth. So we'll be out of peaches, <laughs> but we'll have cider. So it is the cider run. So oh, nice. Have, we have. We actually the prizes are there's different. There's cider, and actually nice. we do cider tasting and apples and great all kinds of. So unfortunately, I wish I wish we still had peaches then. I know, <laughs> a little chilly, but <laughs> there will be plenty of apples. That'll be great. The peaches yeah. do freeze though. Peaches do freeze. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not much of a baker though. That's no. that's that's, well, that's my wife. <laughs> you can get somebody else maybe. Yeah. Well, um, I I met with John Petrork today on a couple other issues, and um, so um, he said everything was organized and everything was fine. So and he's, great. He, hopefully, we'll get him running too. So. Yeah. Yeah. He's been <laughs> running he's a lot he, he said he was going to run. <laughs> so. Um, but anyway, so that's wonderful, and oh, yeah. I had gotten the email that you guys were coordinated and all set. So and we have, and we do have insurance. We do a ride or two. For, Great. So yep. we'll be doing that. So that's wonderful. Okay. So thank you, Ben, for coming yeah. in. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Then and enjoy yeah. the fruit. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, thank you. The meeting. There's, there's yeah. plenty to go around for everybody. So. <laughs> but no, it's lovely, and, yeah. and the apples. It's, it's really nice to have the basket. apples. And yeah. Yeah. And it's great. We're, yeah, we just brought apples to the school today, so that's been. Oh, good. Thank you for that. The school, so it's good. Thank you yeah. so much. Keep the kids eating healthy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you, so Ben. Very You're grateful for it. Would you like to be on a building committee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. We got your number. <laughs> See Thank you. you, Ben. Um, the next thing on the agenda and before we leave tonight is the sewer committee charge. 
And yes. um, I'd, I'd like to give a report too. Oh, oh gosh, yes. Wendy, I'm sorry, I skipped over you. That's okay. I can't believe I it. Usually I usually demur because it's already. I was nine worried about whatever. the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can go very quickly, but yeah, why don't ahead. you talk about the sewer charge? Um, this shouldn't take too long. Um, the only thing um, it was brought to my attention that there was some report. The report was due December 31st, and I wanted to ensure the committee that we were not. Keep, you know, we were not holding their feet to the fire on a right. report. Yeah. There's just so much money involved and that Trevor and I needed to start coming anyway. And um, one of the things uh, that came up um, is kind of an overview kind of thing because we need we need something probably. The reason why this December report was here is because we need to go to the C CIPC. If we're, gonna, if we're going to do some stuff, anything. but you, you had a couple things that you wanted to do in short term, and so that would be for this year request. Mm -hmm. So we just need to get that in, and if you could organize that, well, we could work with you to organize yeah, that. Yeah. We, but we uh, just need that submission by December first. We've. Um, I, I believe that we have the Captain Lather issue, you know, put to bed. Um, Great. Well, that's I've, nice. Yeah. I, that's been I did mention that It's not done yet, but it, it's too. in the work soon, so Kevin's, okay. Kevin's got a handle on that. We also, um, I had another meeting with some other uh, engineers, and uh, they're going to be um, coming back to me with some sort of a report, uh, not really on just their Assessment. thoughts on what they could, you know, help the town out with as far as the South Deerfield uh, sewer plant goes mm -hmm. in uh, making those updates you know, affordable and, and re reasonably quick. Um, and I'll, I'll bring that information you know, forward. Um, so what I wanted to do is make sure we set up some meetings um, uh, because we don't want to conflict with um, our SCEMS meeting. So did you have? Yeah, I, I, there was a meeting on the 21st. Uh, at six o'clock for the sewer study. Well, that's a SCEMS night. Did you know I that? Know. Okay, so could yeah. we change that? Well, which one? You want to change the SCEMS or you want to change the sewer study? I mean, it, the well, only the sewer, it would be easier to do the sewer committee change because um, SCEMS is, involves the other two towns. Right. Well, I, the only reason it's that day is because if we pick Monday, no, two other guys can come. We come Wednesday, then there's other people that can't come. That's why it always seems to be that uh, Thursday. Uh, but, could we so, do it the 28th? Um, or could I, we do it the 14th? I, I don't right. have I don't have the information uh, yet, and I don't think I'll have it by next week. Um, okay. Uh, and that's the whole thing is, you know, uh, we canceled the last uh, meeting in um, July, primarily because I didn't have any information to discuss. And, you know, the board felt that they needed more information to go forward. And, um, well, well but you know, we it, that, that brings up. Could we do the 28th? Well, I'll reach out and I'll see if we can change it to the 28th. I'll let yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, I, I just, I feel like we're coming up to, um, you know, I, I, because there's so much money involved, I just want to make sure that um, we're. 28th is the Selectman's Association. Yeah, we've got an association oh, meeting that is night. Oh, is that that night? Yeah. Oh, I knew it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, maybe the skims is not that long and we can come after. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to go. I mean, there's not much going on at the South County, so, so I wasn't going to go. Maybe we can, meet, we can do the skims, and then you're making yeah. it over yeah. here after. Yeah, then okay. we'll come back here. All right. Okay. Because it, it's just, I feel like w one of the exciting things when I was um, at the Conservation District Regional Meeting, mm -hmm. um, the, the lady who is in charge of EPA, um, she's so nice. She, she used to be in charge of Vermont. And there was like eight people in the EPA office, and she now is the sole person for all of New England. But um, she takes her vacation time to go to our meetings, and I've, so I've known her for a few years. And she's willing to stop by um, when she's going by sometime on Route Two and um, walk through our sewer treatment plant and give us an overview of regulatory changes that might be different than what we had anticipated a couple of years ago and um, and help us look for money. I told her we, you know. Always look for money. Yeah, I told her that it's millions. It's like 20 to 30 million and we just can't afford it. And so she's gonna come down and see what our issues are, see 
what we actually have to do. And I, I mean, I really do trust her, and I think she's going to have a, hit it off with Wendy because you know she just is that kind of person. And me or her? No, both. Of you. you guys. <laughs> Who doesn't hit it off with Wendy? It'd be nice. So anyway, she's she's willing to help us go out and try to put something together. I told her we had applied to the HUD grant. We made it through the first hoop. We actually got qualified, made the state qualified for the Sandy money, and then the money ended up going to Springfield. And so she thought if we had a good enough application to, to, to do the initial thing for HUD, then um, we had potential in a couple different pots of money. So good. I was pretty excited about that. And she's, like I said, I think she can help us. So well, um, it was. Worth a try. Sure. Yeah. Definitely worth a try. And sure. but, but the main thing is, I, I trust her in the sense that, you know, she's used to working with regular people and, and she, she knows, like I said, she wants, she knows we want to do the right thing, but we don't want to be excessive. And so she, I think she would be able to give us an overview on the regulatory, what we need to apply in the regulatory going forward based on what changes are happening. And that's the biggest, oh. that is the biggest thing because some of, some of the assumptions I think have changed in the O's initial reports because the regulatory um, atmosphere has changed. And, and what we are required to do, what we should be doing is what makes sense from a climate change point of view, what makes sense going down the line that will impact us negatively, and, and what, what do we have to meet for requirements, and then see where we are at. I, I just, sure. it would be nice to have somebody independent look at it. On the same so topic, but you did, so right. And, and that's a good idea. I think that's really good. Uh, but on the same topic, I, I wanted to uh, speak briefly to the two of you that I would like, um, I guess, I don't know if it's permission or blessing, but I'd like to go off and try to see what's involved with securing more land around the mm -hmm. sewer treatment plant for expansion. Right. Um, you know, I know that the land directly south of the plant is still Deerfield land, and I do know that it's in an APR program. So I, I just want to find out, I want to Please. tell you that I'm going to look into seeing, mm -hmm. you know, what's involved uh, with removing part of that uh, land. Uh, some, some people have told me that when that, the town accepted that APR to go through it, that there was a, a, a reservation for, you know, public use for that expansion. <coughs> I want to see if that's true. If it's yeah. not true, I'm going to talk with the people involved to find out what, what, what the town can do to get some of that land out. And, you know, if we can swap, I know that they do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I just want to know what I was... That sounds good know. because I know when that clarifier goes in, that's a pretty good square It was going to take up more things, yeah. Yeah, and um, whatever building, not that big one, but whatever well, building was encroaching this last, on that. You know, I, I won't take a lot of time, but this <coughs> last meeting I had with these other people, they, they had some even better ideas about how to rebuild those uh, clarifiers and the aeration things and get rid of those big motors. They put a bladder in the bottom tank and have air bubbles that come up yep. through. You yep. know, so there, there's, there's a lot of ways other, to do stuff. The other yep. ways, you know, and, and the more I get involved, is the more I'm learning, and it's right. It's just more enlightening. To, sure. You know, why we ended up that going down that road right. we did before, but okay. that's great. Yeah, no, I think it's a great well, idea. Well, Kara Jacobs is really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's, but she's really a regular person, and I, I feel like even though she's an EPA, she she just has a huge knowledge about stuff, and yeah. she's willing to spend time, and I and I think working. She might have some creativity sure. and ideas on, on how we solve our problem, too. And I it just, it would be helpful. Sure. Well, information is always good. Yeah. yeah. So, well, it's just so many unknowns about this stuff. And, it, and the more you do learn, the better. Yeah. So, anyway, before, and this way we can become more educated ourselves and make sure that we're asking the right questions. Yeah. Because right. I think part of the thing is if you just hand somebody a blank check, they're going to fill it in <laughs> and so, so um, I, I will feel better if we know what's going on can I hit it might on? be purple yeah oh purple yes the I want to hit on a couple quick things that this, these programs be announced yes. oh I can yep. announce that if you want oh you've got that in your folders in your oh, folders I? so it should, could be a, a couple announcements color. for the Deerfield Recreational oh, here upcoming right here. programs. Uh, Zumba classes meet Monday uh, nights beginning September 11th at 545 in the Deerfield Elementary School Gym. This class costs $5 and is a pay-as-you-go. 
Pilates classes begin on Tuesday, December 12th in the Deerfield Elementary School gym. The intermediate class is at 5.45 p.m. and the beginner class is at 6.45 p.m. The cost is $102 for 12 weeks. Um, you have to pre-register for this class uh, with the recreational director. So see Sue for that. Um, field hockey for grades uh, three through six will meet on Sunday nights at 4 p.m. at the Frontier Fields beginning September 17th. The cost is $20. Equipment is available with a deposit. You can contact the recreational director to register. Um, I think, yes, that's the same thing, I think, that is here. Yep. Union 38 field hockey for the girls. Uh, there was another one thing I just, because uh, one of the farmers had mentioned this to me, too, about the aerial oh, yep. yeah. cover crop. Do you want, Aries. were you going to hit that or do you, okay. So there's aerial, aerial uh, if you see helicopters around, they'll be putting the, um, on all the fields for the seating. winter, they put a, a, a cover crop seeding. So uh, there'll be a helicopter hitting the fields near you, uh, dropping seed um, from now and mid-September uh, in towns across Massachusetts. So, you know, weather it's and other right variables. Now. So yeah. happening right now, if you see helicopters around, that's what they're doing. They're putting a, um, a crop, um, a cover crop over the field for the winter. So, so we, are they dropping just seed, or is there? Oh yeah. Any? What what this is is the conservation district through the equip program mm -hmm. is, um, and we've actually got lots of farmers in town signed up. So I had sent this to the chief, so people did not think we were spraying for mosquitoes. Um, <laughs> what they do is they drop rye seed um, mm -hmm. over the corn before it's harvested, so it gets yep. started. So when you go to harvest. Um, the corn, corn stalks, um, you see that the grass is already there, and therefore you're not losing the soil sure. in the wind as it dries out in the wintertime. So it's, it's paid for through um, an RCS. And that's and supposed to work well? Um, this is actually the third year that is we've it? done this, and um, it's very effective. Hmm. The um, reason I say it is because after, after I cut grass, I'm not sure what kind of birds there are, but there are millions of birds that go over my fields and just eat the seeds. Is that right? So oh, you wonder how much. the winter, <laughs> you know, this is just dropped for, on the ground. Feed the seeds the birds. Gonna be, the birds are just, yeah, it's like No, no, it's, uh, yeah. it already, um, it, it's in the corn. It, it's dropped when the, like right now. So it's kind yeah. of hidden. So because, and, oh, okay. and the farmers haven't harvested it yet. Okay. So it's in the, um, and it's okay. already growing. So by the time you do go to harvest it and the birds, it's already grass. It's already and that's grass. why. Okay. That's why they actually do it because no-till is yep. also most um, friendly to the soil and dis not disrupts you. Don't, you're not bringing, um, bringing organisms to the, top, to, the so to the top of the soil by plowing. Plowing is not really a good thing. And um, so you're trying to promote no-till, but the problem with no-till, like you said, is birds come in and clean it out. So right. if you... Um, the best, most effective way um, is to drop the seed, have the seed um, sprout and plant before you even harvest the corn. Mm -hmm. This and corner, this actually explains it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really effective, and it's, um, and if you do it through, you get everybody signed up, um, it's actually wonderful because you want to read that it's, it, become, it becomes cost effective. One farmer yep. couldn't afford to do this. Sure. But if you get everybody, it's. Um, so do you want to just bring up this letter? This is the last thing I'll, before Wendy's yeah, report. Yeah, it, it came wanna... from the Energy Committee, and this is the original project, okay. the old yep. SE, if you want to speak to it. or yep. um, This was the energy audit. Um, what do you call They've it? done that. They've done it. Um, unfortunately, they were only able to get about 200 homes, get a clear picture. Yes, 20%. Yeah. Um, and this letter will be going to those 200 homes. The Energy Committee is going to come in and stuff envelopes. Oh, and uh, the labels are being provided, and this will go to those 200 people. And then um, the foundation, this is an energy save program. We, you, we didn't really go into background for the people listening and watching. Um, but, you know, you're at the meeting. I don't, do you want well, to say anything yeah, more about that? Sure. Um, uh, Harold Greenspoon. Um, has been working with, I believe, MIT, and they developed a, a way to do thermal imaging of homes. So I'm not sure. I think they did it in the springtime. They drove up and down the streets in town. 
and they did thermal imaging. Uh, I guess unfortunately they were only be able to they were only able to do about 20 percent of the homes, but they're going to give this information free to the homeowners so they can see where their homes were leaking energy. Uh, it will come in, in uh, a colored form, and it will be like blue up to bright orange, and obviously it'll have some information. But basically, wherever it's blue, it's not leaking energy. Where it's bright orange, that's where the heat's coming through in the house. And I guess it's up to you, um, you know, what action you take from there. But um, you know, it'll give you a good idea of where your home needs some improvements. Mm. I wish my house was one of them, but I guess I not. know. I'm hoping yeah. mine was. Yeah, they were able to take pictures, but they weren't clear enough to give substantial information because of length of roads or yeah. foliage or whatever well, was there. There were issues. Yeah, with we, I'm too much but far up on the hill. So the yeah. letter detail. Thank you for signing that. So Wendy, I, I apologize. I did. I had so many notes that I went right over your section. That's so. okay. Um, uh, first, I want to just say it's been great having Key in the office. I hope. Welcome she feels again. the same about yes, me. Yes, we're so excited. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, we really yeah. are. It's really, really wonderful to have to have, to have uh, full staff back. And I feel like we're going to move ahead we're, finally. We're negotiating uh, with the three of us about how we go forward, and we'll keep a constant conversation going about that. We're going to meet Friday early morning to um, talk about um, a lot of things, including our website. Uh, we're going to have virtual town hall come out sometime pretty soon. Oh, Key and I have you. already started going through it and looking at where things don't make sense or don't work or whatever and why it's different on my computer and hers. So I want to reassure our, our listening audience that that is a big priority, that we want to make that a very user-friendly, uh, useful information place, including where we're going to get uh, try to get everything on that website so people can go there and look up minutes and agendas and past information, whatever. Fantastic. We want to move that forward. So... Um, Thank you very much on that. I, I, not having a useful website is really awful. I can't use it. I struggle to find things. And I, you know, so. Um, uh, a year or two ago, the town appropriated, along with the school district and the three other towns in the district, some funds to go towards a study. UMass uh, pro class project was going to do with a professor. Um, that has not panned out. Well, um, and so um, we uh, kind of agreed at a meeting of um, the school superintendent, the business manager, and the three town, four town administrators that we're recommending that we don't uh, continue with this. It, it, it was long overdue. It didn't, so much has changed in that time. It was supposed to look at use of buildings, especially by the schools. The school has moved, the administration has moved from there. So, um, uh, the school had appropriated uh, $12,000, and that superintendent is recommending to the school committee. And I don't know if their meeting has happened already, but not to do that. And I recommending that we're, we don't proceed with, I think, $4,000. Do, do we, uh, we don't need to vote on that, because we're just not going to um, spend it. Or do you want to Yeah, I, I would like your support for us not continuing. I make the motion that we do not spend money for the program. I mean, for the, I was part of that. For the study, toward the study. For the study, and... Um, Could you repeat that? Yeah. I'm in a recorder. Yeah. And we're not doing it. Make that motion. I'll second the motion. Yeah. I will have motion language for you in future meetings. All, as I all did. those in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. I, 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 I don't think I've ever heard you utter those words. That's why I asked. <laughs> well... That's okay. I, I'm... I, I was really disappointed. Yep. We were supposed to have a really good study, and nothing mm -hmm. happened. Was well, this, this took the place of a grant no. that, that had been applied was, for, and then they cut out the grant program entirely. So, at um, any rate, things was, have changed, and the, the study is just... Potentially regionalization, but it was to do interesting new things. Mm -hmm. Like, say, say Waitley has a lot of, you know, space down there. Mm -hmm. it would be to have a whole science academy or something. I think it's a brilliant idea to do, but maybe that wasn't the program to do it. But no, no. Gotcha. But okay. the idea was to come up it, with it, different the ways. The information was delivered very late and was very out of date and, yep. and, and yep. long story. Gotcha. Uh, not, anyway. Yep. Um, okay. Um, I'm talking with, you know, town officials, department heads, um, about what people might have for a special town meeting. I really don't have much at this point. I don't know. Just putting that out there to the board. Um, any well, I, I think um, I, I would like us to keep 
the possibility of a special town meeting available if mm -hmm. we, we we will have some things but at this point yeah oh, but yeah. it would relate to the senior center or the community center mm -hmm. um, once we get a plan but if we're too close to I mean we're getting into town meeting then it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. but it depends if we want to use CPA money if we're going to use our own money we, we whatever okay when we have a plan we'll sort that out okay. is that all right I mean, yeah this, well, it makes so good I would just not we do have some commit some other schedule. needs that have come up but um, finance committee will be meeting and we'll talk and I'll get back in touch we'll let's keep communications okay. going um, we've started the process for hiring uh, refilling that position of assistant town clerk and that's underway, um, receiving applications now. Um, uh, Kevin Scarborough and I uh, met with our, our Maya, the insurance program risk manager, to talk about the grants program they have and many opportunities that we are going to now take to reduce our insurance costs. Um, we, there's a lot of opportunity there to save some money, and we're going to pursue that. Um, and Kevin and I also met with... Uh, Lori Scarborough, not related to Kevin, spells the name differently, Maureen Mullaney, transportation planners from FERCOG. They did a pavement management plan for us, just had some questions, reviewed that with them, and also with the road study project that we're going to be undertaking to uh, get a clarity about the status of all our public ways, or all our ways in town, public, private, and otherwise. So that was very helpful, produced a lot of good information. Tomorrow night I'm going to the FERCOG's uh, marijuana workshop um, I can't recall who is actually presenting but the law has changed as you know yep. and I'm familiar with some but I, w I would like more information. I think it would be helpful to the town I'll bring all that back for you um, you had to have registered they have limited space and oh. then they sent out an email today um, about uh, the, the fair parade is happening tomorrow about oh. alerting people to take different avenues to get there um, so any rate um, you could probably show up if you did want to go but, I did um, want to go to that. Okay. We were going to have that on the 28th. We're, we are yes. doing that on the 20th. That's right. why I'm trying to get a little background on it before okay. that. The 28th is the uh, for the Magic Wings. For our uh, Magic Wings, we're going to have our um, uh, quarterly Franklin County Selectman. Selectman Association, and the topic will be we're hoping to invite Hampshire County as well and trying to get as many people involved with this issue as possible to come present. So um, be right across the street. Oh. Key, maybe, maybe Key can um, call, and if you were interested, the three of us would, would be signed up, but I, I think we at least paid for two. For, for oh. tomorrow night? Oh, no, 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 oh. no, the 28th. Oh, the 28th, yes. Um, I think you two are registered. Because yeah. yeah. we... we um, for the 28th. Yeah. yeah. For the 28th. I so, think you took, it, you took care of it yourselves, or, correct? No, 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 no. the... Um, not the Franklin, not the Franklin County Selectmen's Association. No, we paid from. Uh, no, I think Trevor and I are already had paid for the one that was canceled because of the funeral. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. So if if all right, if I'll key, talk to key. I, I understand that. I'll yeah, explain that we'll to Key tomorrow. Out. Okay. Yeah, if if okay. you could register the three of us for the twenty eighth, but only I think the only one you have to pay for is Kip because okay. we are, we we have like a credit. I think. All right. So you have to let me know when you want to be registered for things. Otherwise, right. I don't. Well, know. <laughs> I think all three of us want to be registered for okay. the twenty eighth. Okay. Yeah. Um, um. So that we could, because we want. Okay. And if whatever questions you come up with. Um, let us know. Absolutely. So I'm going to get, I'll pick up any extra materials I can. Yeah, so sure we can get clarified on the 28th. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I'm, and I have a, um, two of you registered for the MMA legislative breakfast. Um, it, it all came about while you were away, Carolyn. It's on the 22nd at 8 a.m. at the North. Uh, Hampton Police Department mm -hmm. meeting room. Um, I'm registered, and the two of you are registered for that as well. Um, that's the 22nd. Mm -hmm. I, let me. I'll have to call you back on that. I'll say if you want to go, I, that would be all right. If I didn't, you could take my place. Okay. If, if two of us are registered, I don't think it matters which two. Right. I don't think right. so either. They no. just oh, want to okay. get a sense. If you, if you choose, you want to go. That's fine. Just let okay. Me know. I, I just have to check my calendar. Um, I'm not sure on the 22nd. I think I forwarded to you. You can just take care of it yourself. You okay. Just by clicking I, on I something. Will. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm signed up for the 
I'm pretty sure the EOC um, MEMA training is the 18th, 19th, and 20th. I, I think it's only three days. Well, if you have questions and you're not able to go and you want me to ask those, please let me know. Okay. Yeah, let me just check my calendar. Okay. Um, uh, Brenda and Dave Zamoyski and I have been working on write-off policies for Deerfield EMS. We're going to clean up some of that stuff. And with Zach going forward on a proposal for SCEMS, you know, for, for uncollectible billing for emergency Would you for ambulance have that, services. Um, that meeting is the 21st. Would you have that um, available for the 21st? Evening? Well, we're working on Deerfield right now from the right, home service. But I meant the policy. Um, I don't was, know. I, I talked to Zach today about that, where he's okay. meeting with Dave tomorrow, I think. so. Okay. Well, um, maybe what you can do is have him um, put out like a draft so that we can review it for the 21st. I think then? that's what we talked about. He and okay. I talked about today. Because so. it, it would be nice to review it and not make a, have to make a decision that night, but mm -hmm. it would be nice to have it yeah. in writing so we can think about it. Yeah, I think that you're, you're a new enough service that it's not a current problem. Um, because no, you we have, don't have a, yeah, no, we don't have a problem. So, but it yeah. would be nice to think about what our experience was as a Deerfield EMS and, and then have a time to think about it and not actually, you know, have to. We could discuss it maybe and vote on it in uh -huh. October. If we had, if, if, if Zach could give us the he, I a draft. Think that's very possible. He and I keep, yeah, yeah, just a draft or some ideas so that we can think about it between now and October. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, well, before I forget, we, we should before January 1st when the renewals come up for the common victuals, um, mm -hmm. we need to have that bring your own policy mm -hmm. so we don't have to create oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've got that on my list of things to do. Thank you. Okay. Thank um, you. And, you know, we were working on these draft financial policies through a yeah. community mm -hmm. compact grant. Barbara and I have been meeting over that, and we have some slightly different ideas about things. But we'll get back to you. I just want to let you know that yep. we're working on that, and we hope to get something the Finance Committee to look at, too. Um, I'm also going to be attending the Department of Revenue as their best practices conference in Worcester on the 18th. Um, this has been the regionalization conference that had mm -hmm. FERCOG used to be the other or a sponsor of for years. And... Um, Hopefully they'll like me and we'll get grants. <laughs> what can I say? Um, well, big I'm projects. Excited. I'm, I'm excited that he's here so that you can start writing more grants. I mean, this is exciting. Well, I, I will always write grants. I like writing grants. So um, big projects, sewer system. I've sp I spend a lot of time researching um, everything, you know, from apportionment of costs, um, um, fees, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, just to add to what Kip was saying, um, he wasn't alone in those. We were, we were with him with the talking about the plants. Uh, Keith, Kevin, and I we joined him and, and others, and um, then we met afterwards. So we're working together on that Great. as well. Um, and I'm optimistic we can start making some short-term changes Perfect. that will be very beneficial that sure. you, mm -hmm. you've you've been doggedly pursuing. Um, and uh, the only other thing I had to talk about tonight was the church, um, and that was talked about. So yeah. I will follow up. I didn't get your, you know, I didn't get if you sent me Brian. I uh, emailed you uh, to yet. town. Oh, to town. Okay. Yeah, I sent it to town. Okay. I was that makes sense. You. I was going to text you. <laughs> that and makes I, sense. Okay. Yeah. Carol, I, I'd, I'd like to say one thing that I, I forgot to mention earlier. I'd like to uh, thank our highway department. I want everybody to know uh, what a good job they did installing the drains near the entrance of the elementary school. Uh, did a great uh, job. I didn't want the, them to do it in the first well, time. They nice. wanted an excessive amount of money. Uh, I believe it's going to be cost the town fifteen thousand dollars less than wow. our highway department did it. Then they did a great job, yeah. oh. and they even patched in some of those sunken yeah. spots in the front. Yes, they did. Uh, it looks great. It does. Yeah, I went and looked at it today, so I yeah. Well, that's really nice. That's really nice. I had the opportunity to go to the kickoff for the when all the teachers come back and superintendent speaks at the school, and it was just nice to see all that energy coming back into the schools. And um, you know, all our kids started off, and they're all having a good good year, and the staff was good, and we're you know we're ramping up and all pulling together at the Deerfield Elementary with um, extra staff to help out since we don't have. Um, 
you know, our, our principal left really quickly at the end of the year. So we have um, our assistant principal and, and some other people come in and help, and it's, um, it's good. Kids are excited to be back, and teachers are excited, so good. pretty good. But yeah, they did, a, they did a great job. I saw them, I was like, what are they doing? Yeah. Then I realized that yeah. the pipes come right down into drainage, and right. they're right into that. Right, right into, into the catch basin, yep. Right oh, into that's the catch wonderful. basin, yeah, it looks I, great. Can, Wendy, can, or Key, can you just make sure that the highway department knows um, gets a, that, I that, told that we're, Did you? Oh, you told I, I, oh, I talked okay. with Kevin about it today, and that's why oh, I went over. It was such a safety issue because it would sure. it would just all get it ice right up, up yep. underneath yep. there. Yep. There's a, a drain on both sides of the door. Did a, good, the did a good job. Ice, yep. It was really icy. So that's wonderful because that was one of the big things yep. that we were trying to. Yep. And that was a huge savings. So thank you. Yes. Yeah, yep. thank you for bringing it up. Okay. So. We have public comment. Pardon me? Sure. Yes. Yes. But you have to come up. You got to come up. You must you come, have up. To come up. Yep. You have to come we up. Hear your you voice. have to come up. But then you can get a free peach. Yes. Yes, but you then you can have a peach. Yes. I know Andy or two. wants to ride in a helicopter, so I'm going to give you this. For your next big story, you're going to go up in the helicopter. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Good to see you. Yeah, nice to be seen. <laughs> nice to see you too, too. Uh, I've been sort of not following things for a while, but. The other day, I wanted, actually what I'm doing here is to praise the DPW and Kevin. And oh, maybe really other nice. people too, but I'm not quite sure who to include in it. So since I heard this praise going on, thinking I have something else to pra praise them for. And, and that is uh, yes. the, the, uh, the efforts of the town, the ad hoc town common committee to do three things on our list of approved things. And one of them, was to design by elimination to see if we could remove some of the umpteen signs and polls and messages about goodness knows Electric what boxes. all over the town common. So I made a list. I gave you all copies with a picture of each piece. I gave a copy to our police chief, and I gave a copy to Kevin at the DPW, and then I promptly forgot about it because, you know, Hopefully something happens. So the other day, I see some people also finally putting those striped markers where you want people to cross, which was sort of long overdue. <laughs> and so I come to watch them, and I'm thinking, oh, that's nice. I, they, they could care less about me. I'm just watching. And I turn around, and I look at the town common, and it takes me a minute or two no, it takes me a few seconds. <laughs> I feel something completely different, and it's very hard to put your finger on it because, like when you're editing text, it's easy to catch, more or less easy to catch a misspelled word, but it's really hard to catch a missing word. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm looking around, and I start smiling, and I start laughing out <laughs> loud because... I think they eliminated seven to nine signs, yeah. and the place looks lovely. Much better. And I'm walking around, and there's one, one leaning concrete thing. I'm thinking, I wonder why they didn't take that out. The next day, that was gone. Hmm. And all happened without a noise, nothing. And I thought it was time to make a noise. One, to say, hey, Go take a walk in the town common and see if you notice anything. Most yeah. people don't. They really don't. Yeah. And, and then say thank you to the DPW. That's great. Thank you, Oh, Jane, Jane that's very nice. We'll be sure that yeah. it's in the minutes for Kevin and it's passed on. No, no, he's going to watch. Oh, he's watching. Oh, yeah, we'll, <laughs> watching. we'll keep working on the rest do, of right? it. Right. We'll keep working on the rest of it. We'll keep going. Some benches to do. Kevin's a good soul. You're going to have to go here. Yes, and get but your peach. But then you can get a peach. peach. <laughs> I just had a point of information question. What's the status of the building next to us? It used to be the Deerfield Arts Bank. What is the current status of what's going to become of it? I don't know. Call the owner. <laughs> I do well, not know. Didn't they make some appeal to have something happen? Nope. Have, they nothing have not, to us. They have not appeared. What do you mean appeal? Oh. I'm sorry. They haven't appeared before you to, nope. to, to bring no. forward any ideas they have for that building? Nope. No. So it's just the same status? 
Why, you want to buy it back? <laughs> no, okay. but I wasn't sure what was going to happen to it. So I thought no, it was no yeah, clue. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. No idea. On Sorry. the same level, so the baking thing is still going ahead, the bakery? We hope so. Wendy <laughs> yes. was uh, um, following up with Mark Abramson. Yeah, we've got, um, yeah, I, I wanted to mention two other things. Um, one was next time we meet, I have executive session on the agenda to talk about some of these things that are related to leases and legal yep. and blah, blah, blah. So okay. that we, we are moving ahead as far as I know, but um, um, we're moving ahead. <laughs> Back to the, we're, we're the, ball, the ball's Back in their the court now. I mean, we did get everything signed off. Yeah. It was okay. it was our fault and for it, again about six the building. Months. I think you said this. You need to talk to. Um, we we the, don't know how to talk to him. I mean, I don't but okay, we'll okay. okay. We we just heard. We tell everybody what we understood. It was going to be a pot bank. You know, the storage of the money, the sales of the huh. marijuana. Really. really? Okay. That's what you we must heard. be the only person who doesn't know it. Now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, know. I didn't know that. Count me in. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know either. Oh uh, well, that's it's very important that's to keep the three top people out. That's, of that's the, the rumor. That yeah. We, and then and then we serious. heard that it, it was being offered for sale again. So oh. we're just wondering. So we're is wondering. there a sign up for sale or no? No, no it yet. just got really cleaned up. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. Uh, well. Maybe a sign will pop up soon. Um, okay. We know we know that um, the new marijuana law has changed a lot of, you know, how things so are going to be organized. that's going to impact the money situation. Yeah. So, but we don't, I it's mean, a, we haven't it's, heard it's anything. It's changing about. the environment of what we had was medicinal marijuana, and what this town has been involved with, the host agreement, and all around that kind of, and, and everything has changed now. It's, it's. We don't know what it's really is. World. We'll find out a little bit of tomorrow night yeah. how the uh, laws impact that. Um, there'll still be medicinal marijuana and, and regulated places, um, but the board of the Department of Public Health um, was in control of all that. Under the new law, they get out of the business, mm -hmm. um, and I don't quite understand that if you're dealing with pharmaceutical right. stuff. But uh, hopefully, our intrepid reporter can help find us that information. So, anyway, I think you need to uh, talk with the, the buyer to find out. What's going on? Thank you. They still have to deal with us. It's their neighbor, it's so just, I understand your concern. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh, I but, didn't mind the pot bag. I thought that would be very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they still have to deal with us, but, you know, obviously nobody's done anything yet okay. yeah, with us. Nothing yet. Uh, we're, we're, yeah. we're not, I, before I would be very uptight, but everything is just changes constantly and it keeps rolling out and. You know, it's not worth the energy. We'll just we'll find out what's going on in the you know next couple months, and we'll see what happens. But it, it really has changed, and it depends on who is named to this you know this commission that will be the oversight board. Uh, Somebody's supposed to speak tomorrow with reporters. I think the guy uh, one not local, but I think in Boston or somewhere. Um, there was a guy that was I don't know his name, but he was really against. Um, the legalization um, and fought that, but obviously that lost. But he w he's been appointed uh, to the board that's overseeing all of this, and I think tomorrow he has his first um, yeah, conversation. He's, he's, with the governor appointed him to be the chair of the commission. Yes, it's similar to the gaming. I hate calling it gaming. The yep. gambling commission. Yep. Um, but uh, most of the representatives I saw were from the marijuana industry. I see. So I, you know, the fact that the Media has made a big deal out of him. I, yeah. Most of the, I think, uh, Deborah Goldberg, I forget which, mm -hmm. she the, what is she, the auditor? Treasurer. What is she? Treasurer. Treasurer. Yeah. She had several appointments, attorney general, governor, yeah. and maybe, I don't know if the legislature does, but it looked to me like it was mostly um, peopled by people from the industry. So I, I don't, yeah. I didn't really understand the big deal about the chair being someone yeah. who wasn't maybe supported. Yeah, so. a couple different opinions on there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have I'm, more information. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of changes <coughs> as things get rolled out, so. And we're in the public eye, so it will all be public. Yeah, I mean, Dick and I went to all kinds of meetings in the very beginning, and it was really disgusting because it wasn't organized, and they only had half answers and stuff, and so I was real uptight about it, but. And we rushed to get all our information in, in line and, and to be, um, to, know, to know and be informed as much as possible. But 
at this point. There's, everything changes so constantly that I'm not really worried about it. So, I mean, it sounds terrible, but it's when when they it happens, it'll happen. Yeah, when they roll it, when we get rolling. We're yeah. just wondering what oh, okay. the status. That's oh, okay. Well, we don't know anything. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> yes. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.